The Darkest Dark, written by Chris Hatfield and Kate Fillion, read to you by Wendy Lamberti. Chris was an astronaut, an important and very busy astronaut. When it was time to take a bath, he told his mother, I'd love to, but I'm saving the planet from aliens. When it was time to get out of the bath and go to bed, he told his father, politely, because astronauts are always polite, Sorry, no can do. I'm on my way to Mars. An astronaut's work is never done, so astronauts do not like to sleep. But their parents do. You're a big boy now, said Chris's father. You have to sleep in your own bed. And Chris tried. He really did. But his room was dark, very, very dark. The kind of dark that attracts the worst sort of aliens. But his parents meant it. Chris was going to sleep in his own bed tonight. His mom and dad checked under his bed and in the closet, and even in his underwear drawer. They declared the room 100% alien-free. They tucked Chris in. They turned on the nightlight. They even gave him a special bell to ring if he was nervous. Clang! Clang, clang! Clang, clang, clang! They took away the bell. And then his father said something that worried Chris even more than the dark did. One more peep, young man, and I'm afraid we'll be all too tired to go next door tomorrow. But tomorrow would be a special day, a very special day. Chris had to go next door. His life pretty much depended on it. So Chris stayed in his own bed without a peep. He took a long time to fall asleep, but when he did... He had his favorite dream. He flew in his spaceship all the way to the moon. The next day seemed to last forever, but finally, when the moon was shining over the lake and the summer wind was ruffling the leaves of the trees, Chris ran next door. The house was already full of people, all gathered around the TV, the only TV on the whole island. Chris found a spot where he could see through the crowd, and what he saw was astronauts, real, live astronauts on the actual faraway moon. They were wearing puffy white suits and jumping for joy, jumping so high because there was so much less gravity there. The grown-ups huddled around the TV were amazed. Their whole lives long, they'd never expected to see this sight. Even Chris, who had been to the moon just the night before, was amazed. They never really noticed how dark it was there. Outer space was the darkest dark ever. That night, Chris did a little experiment. He turned off all the lights in his room, even the nightlight. It was still dark. Very, very dark. There were still shadows that looked a little, well, alien. Nothing had changed, but Chris had changed. He'd seen that the darkness of the universe was so much bigger and deeper than the darkness in his room, but he was not afraid. He wanted to explore every corner of the night sky. For the first time, Chris could see the power and mystery and velvety black beauty of the dark. And he realized, you're never really alone there. Your dreams are always with you, just waiting. Big dreams 
about the kind of person you want to be. Wonderful dreams about the life you will live. Dreams that actually can come true.